Do this to stay and get wealthy. It's being the tortoise, not the hare. What I mean by that, let's go very simple. If you take $100,000 and put that in the S&P 500, where you're probably going to earn 10% over the long run, $100,000 will turn into $1.7 million if you invest in the S&P 500 and assuming it makes 10% a year on average. 30 years later, you will have 1.7, assuming you reinvest all earnings. Isn't that freaking amazing? And so what I mean by that is how do we get there? I think we're afraid to put $100 in the stock market or $200 or $500. There should not be a small number that we think is frivolous or not going to accomplish anything. For years, I would put in 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 6,000, whatever. Or in small increments, I'd be putting $100, $200 when I first started in on a check. You know, I'd have it coming out of my, when I had a nine to five job, I'd have a small percentage of my very low income. When I first got out of college, you know, I think I had a 35 base salary that made commission. I did very well. I made 80 my first year, but um, taking small percentage of that adds up. And just to be clear, I didn't make six figures, I think, until I was somewhere in my mid-30s. And just saving since I was 22, I have well over a million dollars. And it was from small incremental money into the S&P 500. So there is no number that is too small. And do not try to hit home runs. I know a somewhat good amount about finance. I've tried to invest in individual stocks and I've lost my shirt because I was trying to hit a home run. You can hit a single, a double, whatever, investing in the S&P 500, an index fund that's just going to go up and you will be very wealthy. I know that if I can earn 10% a year, my money doubles a little after seven years with compound interest. And what I mean by that, just to be clear, if you invest, let's say 100,000, and you make 10%, you made $10,000, right? So now you have 110. So you reinvest the 10. So instead of next year, or next year just being 100,000, you now have 110. So you're going to earn 10% on the 110. And that's what causes your money to double, earning 10% after a little after seven years. So a little after seven years, you get to double your money with whatever you put in there. So I'm constantly trying to get more and more money in there so I can earn my wealth while I'm sleeping. Do not try to buy cryptocurrency or individual stocks or penny stocks. If for some silly reason you want to experiment and you think you can hit a home run, which I can promise you 99.9% .9 of you will not, but if you do, only 5% of your portfolio can go towards you trying to hit a home run. Because when it goes to zero, it's not a big deal. It was just 5% of your portfolio. I can assure you, I've done this over a 10-year period, and I've lost my shirt on the 5%. So eventually, I was like, what's the point? I don't need this 5%. If I can double my money every seven-ish years, I'm going to have millions and millions of dollars by the time I'm in my 70s, 80s, or even sooner. I'm 40 and I have well over a million dollars already. So in seven years from now, I'm going to have multiple millions. Anyway, you can do that too. Just slow and steady, my friend. And there is no small, there is no, you, you don't compare yourself to me or to anyone else. If you start today, that's fine. Have money come out of your check. Call HR and say, hey, I want 6%. I want 5% of every check. I want 10%. I want 20%. Whatever you can afford to go to Vanguard, for example, to the S&P 500 index fund and just start building. And what's great about having it come out of your check is you don't even know what's, it's, it's really happening. And all of a sudden, you're going to look at that account. And you're like, whoa, 
decent amount of money in there. So get started immediately, and you'll see eventually there's going to be a lot of money in there.